Okay, so I am outside the correction center in Vault City. On my map, I am currently right here in the downtown area. Hello again, citizen. Something I can help you with? Got any more recon work for me? Yeah, there is something. I've been looking through your reconnaissance report and I have found a small village nearby swarming with uh, mole rats. That's what the outsiders call them, right? I want you to go there and exterminate all those beasts. What for? What for? He hesitates for a moment, then frowns. I don't need to explain my motives to you. I give orders and you take them. That's how it is. If you don't want the job, I'll send a squad to do it instead. But things sometimes get a little messy when I set my boys loose. Got it. I'll take the job. Excellent. Here, let me show you the exact location of the village. Stark marks the village on your Pip-Boy map. Pays $750.00. Just come back and collect once you finish the task. One more thing. If you don't deal with it in a month, I'll send a squad there to eliminate the monsters and any other threat. Bye. Hey, you! What are you doing here? As you enter the small village, your nose is assaulted by the familiar stench of rodent. You see several mole rats milling about. Strangely, they don't seem interested in attacking you, or the peasants that dwell here. You see a dirty, but strong-looking man. Stay where you are for now, wanderer. What are you doing here? Why? What's it to you? I bet those bastards at Vault City sent you. Well, you best be off and leave everything else alive. Why? Those creatures are the only thing stopping Vault City from making us their so-called servants. They didn't tell me that. You believe them at face value? You've got a lot to learn about the world, friend. Is there anything I could do to help? The Vault City boys aren't the bravest. You show them any kind of fight and they run for the hills. If we had a few guns, I think we could hold them off. I might be able to help you out, but guns aren't cheap. What sort of guns are you looking for? He eyes you with a tentative grin. You're serious about helping us, aren't you? Alright, if you're up for it, then some rifles would be ideal. That way, we could start picking them off from a distance. So, if you truly want to help, then bring us some automatic rifles. Four would do it. Oh, and a shotgun would be nice too, in case things get close and dirty. Uh, I think I'll take some money first. So I'm going to go with option one. I'll see what I can do, but like I said, guns aren't cheap, so I'm going to need some money. Of course! Here, this is all we can afford. He hands you $5,000. I might be a damn fool for trusting it to a stranger, but you're the only hope we've got of staying free. Speak to old Joe in Vault City's courtyard. He's usually in or around the bar. He'll know what to do. I'm on my way. You're back. Do you have the guns for us? Can I ask you a few questions? Certainly. What's on your mind? Where did these mole rats come from, and why aren't they aggressive? Well, it's kind of a strange story. You see, a bunch of ghouls came here one day, mumbling something about a renewal, and giving out these funky amulets. He shows you an onk-shaped amulet. These big rodents came with M and the ghouls, said they'd be protecting us from now on. The ghouls left, probably back up to Gecko. But the rodents stayed put, and they've been here ever since. 
like I said, it's pretty strange stuff. It's kind of a pain to clean up after these things, but hell, if they keep Vault City off her ass, then I suppose I can put up with a little rat poop. Very interesting. Do you think I could have one of those amulets? By all means. They gave us so many, and we don't know what the hell to do with them. Here, take one. Thanks a lot. Bye. You're back. Do you have the guns for us? Can I ask you a few questions? What was the name of your contact in Vault City again? Old Joe. As the name implies, he's a real old fella. You'll either find him in the courtyard bar or wandering nearby. So, who exactly is he? Old Joe's a real character is who he is. Claims to be over a hundred years old, but I don't know if I buy it. He claims all sorts of things. He even says he helped save the world once. The guy's full of stories. I reckon most of them are bullshit, but they sure are entertaining. He keeps an eye on things in Vault City for us, and he does a damn fine job considering he's old as dirt and nearly blind. He says he saved the world? You know, I'm kind of on a world-saving quest myself, at least a quest to save my world. Right. Good for you. Well, you keep at it then. Just don't forget about helping us. I probably will, actually. I get so many quests, it's hard to keep track. If it wasn't for this handy pip boy who knows where I'd be. See ya. Oh, I won't. See you later. Talisman. A talisman which is worn by followers of the brain. Okay, so I'm looking for old Joe. He's supposed to be in or around the bar. But I know the bar is closed. So, I'll check over here. You see an old man with a crazy gleam in his eye. You see an old man with a crazy gleam in his eye. Hello. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh uh, yeah. It's been a while. What have you been doing? Sure has. Well, I've been around. Finally ended up here in this godforsaken place. Not like the good old days, no sir. Yeah, the good old days. Remember that time we... Yeah, we sure gave the master hell, didn't we? Shit, fell apart after you left, though. I had to move around and change my name. Where'd you end up? I've been living up in a small village. Yeah. I looked for your vault for a while, but never found it. So, you got any good stories for your old friend Ian? Ian! Yeah, Ian. Don't you remember me? It's been a bunch of years. You'd think someone wouldn't forget his best buddy. Well... Except for the shooting in the back thing. Sorry about that again. I'm sorry, but you must think I am the Vault Dweller. My village was founded by the one who came from the Vault. Well, that makes a bit more sense. Well, it's good to hear my friend did well. Well, old Ian's got some advice for you. You be careful out there. This place ain't as peachy as it seems. What's going on here? Well, the Vault citizens think very highly of their bloodline and don't care much for people like me and you. You take this. It'll protect you if things get a little out of control. You probably shouldn't be seen talking with this crazy old man. Best get on your way. Thanks. One more thing, though. I'm trying to help this village that's northeast of here. A guy there named Connor told me to seek you out and speak with you. Connor, huh? He's a good guy. I've been keeping my eye on things for him. So what exactly does Connor want now? He's trying to get his hands on some weapons. 
He thinks if he had the, some firepower, they'd be able to keep Vault City patrols at bay. Ah, so that's his new plan, eh? Well, head over to Happy Harry's general store. Tell Harry Connor sent you, and he should be able to fix you up. I believe he's got some guns stashed away for just such an occasion. But if you ask me, I'm not sure this is the best way to handle things. Why? What do you mean? Connor and his people have that strong fighting spirit, but it won't be enough in this case. Vault City have nearly unlimited resources, and eventually they'll win out. Sometimes it's best to talk things out and try to reason with people. That's a lesson I learned from my old friend the Vault Dweller. Senior Council Member McClure has shown to be a reasonable man. Perhaps some agreement can be made with him. Hey, if you really are the same Ian that journeyed with my ancestor, then I've got a question for you. Alright, let's hear it. How the hell are you still alive? You must be over a hundred years old. Not to mention the Vault Dweller's memoirs, which say you were burnt to death in Necropolis by a super mutant with a flamethrower. He barks gruff laughter for a while. Finally, he settles down and wipes a couple of tears from his eyes. Oh, that's rich. Burnt to death by a flamethrower. Ha! You see, I told the Vault Dweller to make up some story about how I died. Because I didn't want any of our old enemies trying to hunt me down. That's why I changed my name. I told him to have me going down in a blaze of glory. And it looks like he took that literally. Ha, ah, that's classic. Huh. I guess that solves that. I was curious about the mole rats that are guarding the village. That still doesn't explain how you're still alive and well after all these years. Hey, I'm just as confused as you are. Who knows? Maybe it's got something to do with all that radiation I was exposed to back in the old days. Hell, when we went to the Glow, I remember the Vault Dweller was popping Radax like candy. But did he offer any to old Ian? Of course not. I think he was still upset over a little friendly fire mishap. <laughs> Those were some good times. I'm sure they were. Thanks for the story, Joe. Uh, Ian? I was curious about the mole rats that are guarding the village, though. Yeah, what about them? Any idea where they're from or who's controlling them? That I'm not sure about. A bunch of ghouls came by with them. They were carrying strange amulets and talking about some renewal. That's pretty much all I know. You might want to check out Gecko, though. That place is bustling with ghouls. Speaking of big rats, did I ever tell you about the time the Vault Dweller and, and I went to Vault 15? No, but I'm well versed in the tale, as it's become a sacred legend in my tribe. Anyway, maybe I'll go see what I can find in Gecko. Take care, Ian. Council Member McClure. Good day, citizen. Can I help you? I have some questions. Of course, citizen. What is it you would like to know? Do you know anything about the nearby village that's swarming with mole rats? Actually, yes. Sergeant Stark reported something on this to me recently. What interest do you have in this matter? Is it true that you intend to make servants of those people? Recruiting servants is not the issue here. The issue is the threat that these monsters pose to Vault City. According to Sergeant Stark's report, the people of that village seem to coexist with those huge rat creatures. If that's true, they may have found a way to control them. And perhaps that's why these creatures have begun to attack our patrols. Sergeant Stark plans to eliminate these pests and he has my full support. I assure you, the people of that village aren't controlling the mole rats. In fact, I've got a proposition for you. I'll take care of this mole rat problem, and in return, 
I want your assurance that Vault City will leave the people of that village alone. An interesting proposition, but how exactly do you plan to deal with all those rat creatures? I think I might know who is controlling them. Really? Very well then. I'll take your word for it. The raid will be postponed for a month. You're a good man, McClure, and you won't regret this. I'll be back once the problem's taken care of. Okay, so I'm now in Gecko. I'm in the junkyard area, and I'm just right here. Now I'm going down the ladder. You see an unusually large mole rat, musing to himself, so many things pass away, times are not what they were, <sighs> I feel that my sole remaining kin has died, mad though he was, I wish it were not so, I had hoped that he might find some happiness even in his dotage, well enough of my sad musings, uh, okay. I smell one of my talismans on you, but I don't remember giving you one. I got it from a village near Vault City. The people there said your followers left these with them. I don't care where you got it. The real question is whether you intend to join us and wear it in earnest. That depends. Vault City's patrols keep getting attacked by mole rats. I assume you're behind this? Why, of course I am. All part of my grand scheme to take over the world. I wouldn't expect your deficient human brain to understand. But alas, what concern is it of yours? I just want your mole rats to stop attacking Vault City's patrols. Most interesting. And here I thought you were concerned for the well-being of Vault City. Anyway... The safety of that village is integral to my plan. Therefore, I shall grant your request, human. Thank you. Bye. You came to an agreement about the mole rats with the brain. You gain 500 experience points. It's amazing. The mole rat attacks on our patrols suddenly stopped without warning. I don't know how you did it, but I thank you. Also, I shall uphold my end of the bargain. I'll order Stark to cancel the raid at once. As long as the people of that village pose no threat to Vault City, they'll have nothing to fear from us. I'll see to that. Thank you. Okay, so you solved the village problem. You gained 1,000 experience points. You gained 15 karma. You're back. Do you have the guns for us? No, but I've got some great news. I convinced the Vault City Council not to touch your village. What? 
they're seriously going to just leave us alone? I don't understand. How did you do that? I swear, if you're bullshitting me... It's true, trust me. I was able to pull some strings and broker a deal, but the details don't matter. The important thing is that you and your people are safe now. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, by the way, I still don't know your name. Jane. Thank you, Jane. But what about the money I gave you to buy the guns? Oh, right. Here you go. Hand him $5,000. Sorry. I had to spend it as part of the deal. Shit, I don't have enough to pay you back. I must have spent some without thinking about it. I'll get it back to you as soon as I can. Uh, let's try option two. Okay, so, so far, we've gained 25 karma and 1,200 experience points for resolving the problem. Sorry, I had to spend it as part of the deal. Oh, I see. Well, if it bought us our freedom, then it was worth every coin. Thanks again for all you've done for us. <laughs> Thanks for the money, mister. Okay, so I gained 25 karma. And I gained 1200 experience points. And I'm up 5 grand. Yay for me. 